What's up guys, my name is Ace, and you guys might remember there was an update for Warzone late last week. It was a fairly large update, but not a whole lot of things actually changed with it. At least on the surface. It turns out there were some hidden changes here. I initially heard this was happening through JGod. I didn't have any time to test over the weekend, so I'm just starting to get into the testing now. And of course, I did double check for myself here and did the testing. My numbers are very slightly different than JGod's, just because there's always going to be a little bit of measurement error here. This is all hand tested. But I did end up finding the exact same trends that Dragod found, and the main thing with this update is it turns out they've nerfed all of the Cold War tactical rifles in Warzone only. Keep in mind this doesn't apply to multiplayer, this just applies to Warzone, and it applies to all of the tactical rifles, so the AUG and the M16, as well as the Type 63 and the DMR-14. So today I just wanted to go over exactly what changed here, as well as share the new best setups to use for these particular guns. And hopping right into it, as far as I can tell, they didn't change the base values for these guns. So if you're not using attachments, these guns are going to perform exactly the same as pre-patch. However, they did pretty much destroy the best barrel for these guns. And this pre-patch was the titanium barrel. This was just the obvious choice for all of the tactical rifles because it gave us the best boost to our bullet velocity and the best boost to our fire rate as well. And therefore, it was just a no-brainer. There was no reason to use any barrel aside from titanium on all of the tactical rifles. After this update though, behind the scenes, the main thing they did here is they just removed the bullet velocity boost for the titanium barrel on all of the tactical rifles. So it's still gonna be boosting your fire rate and everything, but it doesn't give you any benefit to bullet velocity. And especially with tactical rifles where you typically wanna use those at longer ranges, bullet velocity is an incredibly important stat. I would say it's actually one of the most important stats for your gun. And therefore, the titanium barrel is no longer viable, in my opinion, on the tactical rifles. Now let's start off with these semi-auto tactical rifles first, and then we'll get into the bursts, since they handle the barrels a little bit different when it comes to bullet velocity for those two groups. You can see here with the Type 63 and the DMR-14, the only thing that changed here was the titanium barrel. The other barrels are still performing exactly the same when it comes to bullet velocity. And this means now, after this patch, the only barrel that's boosting our bullet velocity is the cavalry barrel for the DMR and the Type 63, and therefore this is the new barrel that I'd recommend using. Now the thing about using the cavalry barrel though, is this doesn't boost your rate of fire potential, unlike several of the other barrels. So if for whatever reason you're planning on using these guns in more close quarter situations, then sure, go with the titanium or maybe one of the other barrels that boosts your rate of fire. But outside of that, I would definitely say go with the cavalry barrel for that maximum bullet velocity. So after this change, when it comes to the semi-auto tactical rifles, this is the sort of attachment combination that I would go for. Of course, you can make some slight adjustments here based on your preferences and your playstyle and stuff, but overall, for both of these guns, it's pretty much the exact same attachments on here. These are what are generally going to be considered to be the ideal setups when treating these like a proper tactical rifle. Now, let's get into the burst tactical rifles, the M16 and the AUG. And with these ones, it wasn't just the titanium barrel that was changed, although you can see here, the titanium barrel, once again, just lost its bullet velocity boost completely for both of these guns, and it used to give us the best boost. But on top of this, you can see the rapid fire barrel, this used to give us a roughly 25% boost to our bullet velocity, and after this patch, it no longer does. So this just leaves us with the cavalry and strike team barrel, and these are handled slightly different between the M16 and the AUG because our base bullet velocity is completely different between these guns. The AUG's bullet velocity is still so strange, it's more like an SMG than an assault rifle. So let's start off with that one. The cavalry barrel gives us a roughly 50% boost to our bullet velocity, whereas the strike team barrel gives us a 100% boost to our bullet velocity. It literally doubles it, and therefore the strike team is the obvious choice when it comes to the AUG now because the strike team barrel does also help a little bit with rate of fire, not quite as much as the titanium did, but it definitely helps. As for the M16, we actually get the same boost to our bullet velocity with the cavalry as well as the strike team barrel, and therefore it might not be as obvious of a choice, but when you also factor in the fact that the strike team barrel helps with our rate of fire and the cavalry barrel doesn't, then it is kind of the clear choice to be using that strike team barrel on the M16 as well. And therefore, this is what the current best setups will look like for the M16 and the AUG. Basically exactly the same as before, but now we're swapping out that titanium barrel for the strike team barrel. And I guess the easiest takeaway from this video is going to be if you're using a semi-auto tactical rifle, you now want to be using the cavalry barrel. Whereas if you're using a burst tactical rifle, you want to be going with the strike team barrel. Now, so far, these are the only hidden changes I've been able to find, as well as JGOD as far as I've seen so far, and true game data. These are the only hidden changes I've seen so far. 
aside from one hidden change that actually happened a while back. And this is something that was confusing me. This is with the XM4. Now, when I was doing my testing for the XM4, I found that its base bullet velocity was the same as basically all of the other assault rifles at 600 meters per second. However, I cross-checked with J-God's data at that time, and it turned out his bullet velocity that he found was noticeably slower than 600 meters per second. And I know J-God does very good testing, so I definitely trusted that he was correct. So I went back and I double-checked, and it was once again 600 meters per second. And just recently I found out J-God went back and checked, and he also got 600 meters per second. So at some point, probably about a month or so ago, sometime between J-God's initial testing and my initial testing, they fixed the bullet velocity on the XM4 so it better matched the other assault rifles, whereas before it was noticeably slower than the other assault rifles. We don't know exactly when this change happened because we just picked up on it right now, but yeah, just know the base bullet velocity on the XM4 is now normal. However, the barrels are still reducing your bullet velocity on the XM4 as well as the AK-47, which is weird. I don't know if that's an intended thing or a bug. It seems like a strange thing for it to be a bug just on two of the rifles. But I don't know why all of the barrels will decrease your bullet velocity and there's none that increase your bullet velocity with these two guns. So until that gets fixed, I would still say these guns aren't really all that viable in Warzone just because we can't boost our bullet velocity and using any sort of barrel attachment will generally harm your gun more than it helps. So yeah, I really hope Raven starts getting on top of a lot of these attachment issues with Cold War weapons because they are still a complete mess. The descriptions still mean basically nothing. And now we also don't know what they're changing behind the scenes. So not only do they have inaccurate descriptions, they're also making adjustments without telling us. And in order to find these hidden changes, it takes so much work because we have to retest basically everything. So yeah, at this point, there may have even been a bunch of other hidden changes somewhere in the background that happened with this most recent update that nobody knows about yet. I'll be sure to keep you posted if anything ends up popping up in those areas though. And with that, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I'd like to know in the comments section below, what do you guys think about the fact that they nerfed the titanium barrel for the tactical rifles? And also, what do you think about the fact that they're not telling us about these changes as they make them? Personally, I think the change to the titanium barrel actually kind of made sense because it was so obviously the clear choice. It was like the best in every single category, whereas I feel like there should be some room for choice where if you want to get your maximum fire rate, you have to sacrifice something for that. And now you actually do. You're going to be sacrificing that boost to your bullet velocity if you want to get the fastest possible fire rate. Of course, when it comes to that second question, though, I hate the fact that they're changing stuff behind the scenes. It is so frustrating to try and keep track of everything that's going on to ensure that we're actually using the best possible setups. And it's not like their descriptions are helping us either. At least if those descriptions were accurate and they were making these hidden changes, it would be a little easier to keep track of stuff. But they aren't, so we're kind of just left guessing. But yeah, those are just my thoughts. Of course, I want to hear yours in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.